As you can see, it looks just like a regular backpack. It's a little heavier. Michaela Hull doesn't have to wonder if a shooting could ever happen at the school she works in, because it already did. We got a report of shots fired in the locker room. In June of 2014, 15-year-old Jared Paget brought an AR-15 into Reynolds High School in Troutdale, shooting and killing his classmate Emilio Hoffman and wounding a teacher at the school. Although Hull wasn't a Reynolds School employee at the time, she says it did affect her deeply. It was then she made the choice to do everything in her power to protect her kids, no matter the cost. I did purchase my child the backpack immediately following the school shooting, and so I decided it was just the best option to do what I could to protect my children in the event that they were in a path crossing of a shooting. Hull's two daughters, nine-year-old Elena and four-year-old Amelia, who is still in preschool, wear so-called bulletproof backpacks to school every day. Although she admits her youngest daughter is not yet old enough to understand why. As far as my four-year-old, how far I've explained it to her is, if you feel unsafe, you can just wrap your backpack like a hug over your chest. Hull recently purchased another backpack to replace the one she'd bought in 2014, but getting her hands on it proved difficult. Approximately two weeks ago, I looked into the Cavalier backpack. They were available, and when I went back to it two to three days later, they were completely sold out. Um, I even Google searched the backpacks, and they were sold out everywhere. And that's that was days after the Parkland shooting? Yes. Each backpack comes with a certificate proving it's undergone ballistic testing. An independent tester shoots five 9mm and five 44 Magnum bullets into the backpacks at a distance of around 8 feet. If the product passes the test, it makes it into the market. But officials say these tests are not entirely realistic because they're done in a controlled environment and there's nothing controlled or predictable about a mass shooting. According to Sergeant Brian White with the Multnomah County Sheriff's Office, some of these backpacks have the same ballistic rating as the vests their deputies wear on patrol. It's not going to stop rifles, typically. It's not designed to stop that level of threat, just simply because the, the momentum and the speed that a projectile or a bullet fires out of that gun, uh, the material's just not thick enough or strong enough to stop it. This isn't news to Hull. She did lots of research and watched many video reviews before buying the Guard Dog Pro Shield 2, and she says she'll take her chances. An argument that I would make is you buy a lottery ticket for the one in a million chance you're going to win the lottery, and you're buying into that chance. I'm taking the one in a million chance that my child could actually be protected using this backpack.